In this video, I'm going to show you two different tropical forms of Drosera intermedia. The first is from Cuba. It remains quite small unless fed regularly, and you can see it's about the size of a dime in diameter. And that's one of the drawbacks of this one in particular. But I still enjoy the fact that you can grow it year-round without needing a cold dormancy. I can just really low maintenance, leave it out on the tray method, and really don't have to worry about it too much. But that being said, I don't really enjoy the fact that you need to feed it every two to three weeks to get it to size up. I was, after consistent feeding for about a half year, I was able to get one of my plants to size up to about two to three inches in diameter. And you'll note that when you feed it regularly, the seeds will be produced in much larger quantities. And the, it's, interestingly, the seeds will also be much larger than ones that you're seeing right now being produced on this sort of smaller flower stock. They'll, these particular seeds are going to be small to medium in size compared to the ones that when you feed them often they're quite large and they germinate really easily so I recommend feeding at all times if you want to get really viable seed production and larger plants. The second form of tropical Drosera intermedia that I wanted to show you is from Mount Roraima and I really enjoy this one in particular since it stays quite larger than the Cuba form uh, when left unfed and you can see that in comparison to a, a quarter they're about in, I'd say two inches across in diameter right now and I really enjoy the fact that they produce quite sizable petioles and sort of spread their their legs out if you will uh, over the pot and it kind of gives them a, a sprawling look which I enjoy. They will turn sort of a maroonish red coloration in bright enough lighting and these plants in particular I, I just fed these about three weeks ago for the first time in a year and so they're definitely appreciating that producing some quicker growth and my lights haven't been able to keep up with the new growth so they're still green at this time but they get really really stunning when they're developing that orange or maroon red coloration and I definitely would recommend this they produce tons of seeds when you feed them regularly and they produce some of the largest seeds of Drosera that I've ever seen um, from the, the varieties that I grow and especially you'll notice that when fed the seeds will also like the Cuba farm be more viable they'll be larger and they'll grow in plantlets much faster or seedlings much faster than if you don't feed them at all and use sort of the smaller seeds that they will produce so as always, I recommend feeding these all the time. And so, I hope you can get a sort of a good idea of what this plant looks like. And with that, I will conclude this video. Thanks for watching.